Hey, what's up guys? We're back with another coffee review. We've got our handy dandy R2-D2 coffee press, our one third cup scoop here, because you all know I like to put a third cup, a third of a cup of whole bean into my grinder here. Today we're doing something really special. Here, I have a bag of the uh, Ethiopian Light. Okay, this is a roast from Lagar Coffee Roasters in Paris, California. If you guys don't know, the roaster that I work with who provides me with the coffee beans to uh, for the coffee subscription is actually Lagar. So he roasts his own coffee. This is his Ethiopian coffee right here. Super excited to try this. Um, in the past, I've done the Colombian and Mexican uh, roast that he has. All the beans come from Colombia or Mexico. So I'm really excited to get into this one, see what this one tastes like. Um, we'll see what's up. Hashtag redefining coffee. All right, guys, that's what be there. You can check them out, check out their socials. Um, they do more than just coffee, but I'm really excited to try this coffee. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. <clears throat> and this has that cool um, specialty coffee bag. If you guys have, if you're into specialty coffee, you know that a lot of the roasters like to pack them in these small bags like this. This is 12 ounces of whole bean. I'm not exactly sure on the price yet. I will keep the description and the links below. Um, but just being in the specialty coffee game, I know how much 12 ounces will usually cost you, about $12, $20. Um, so here we go. I'll open it up. Let's give it a little sniff test. Oh, wow. This is good stuff. Right off the bat, I smell like a cherry, a cherry smell to it. Sweet, a sweet aroma. Ooh, and these beans are a light brown color. So it's not heavily, it's not, not a dark roast. If you look at that, see that? Oh my God, this could be delicious. This is specialty coffee. So you're gonna get more flavors, you get more um, exaggeration in like the fruity, the nuttiness. You'll, you'll taste all those good things. Uh, there'll be a lot of caffeine in this, so super excited to get into it. One third cup scoop. This is going into the grinder. <clears throat> and let's get going. This is grinding so easily. Gosh, it's been so hot in Southern California. I've been dying out here. It's been like in the hundreds. My dog can barely take his walks. He's sweating. Have you ever seen a dog sweat? Okay. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Grounds are going in. Remember, this is a one third cup scoop and this is a four cup press. That's how I like to do my presses. Teach his own. Go online, you can find a simple recipe on how you should measure out your coffee. <laughs> The saucer there. Let's give it a sniff. Mm, it's good stuff. Super exciting. All right. So, what I have here is a concha. This is a Mexican sweet bread. Super excited to be getting into this today. Uh, we're gonna be using this to pair with our coffee. If you're like me, I like a little sweet treat with my coffee in the morning. If it's cookies, if it's a graham cracker, if it's uh, a piece of pan dulce. This is the best stuff ever, especially when you're having your coffee in the morning. So. Let's go ahead and give it the press. Oh man, that was talking about. What a press. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, the pour. Here it goes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Whew. Let's give it the old sniff test. Oh. Ooh. So I'm getting a very light aroma. It's nothing too heavy. It has a sweet smell to it. I would say like a raisin or like fig. very light, very light floral smell to it with a honey fig floral smell to it. Very similar to the Fellas. The Fellas has a tobacco nutty fig flavor to it. But I feel like this has more of the flowery sweet aroma. Like I said, maybe, maybe cherry. It's very light though, it's very light. Uh, bright smelling aroma to it. It's not this thick overpowering coffee smell. It doesn't smell like cardboard. I don't know if you smell coffee, it smells like that. You know what I'm talking about. 
the test, the test, the sit test. Ooh, wow. Okay, this tastes like a Fig Newton. This tastes like a Fig Newton. Ooh, this is tasty. It's very bright. It's there's not I don't it doesn't taste very acidic. I do get I do get an acidic aftertaste, I will say. There's a very light grapefruit flavor at the very end. So right in the beginning, it's really sweet. Really sweet. It tastes very, it tastes, it tastes like fig when you first drink it. But after letting it wash through the palate and it sits back here in the jawline, I can taste a little bit of grapefruit at the end there. Mmm, I like it, I like it. It's definitely a light roast. It's not heavy at all. It doesn't taste overtly of the coffee flavor. It just doesn't taste over coffee, if that makes any sense. Um, very flowery, very floral. Let's try the uh, let's try the pairing. Let's try the pairing here. So I have a piece of Mexican sweet bread, a piece of pan dulce. I'm just gonna take a bite of this. So I don't, I don't, I think this is the wrong, the wrong thing to pair with this coffee. This is, I feel like maybe I needed more of, I think, I think I need creamer in order for this to work, but I don't drink coffee with creamer in it. I think this would taste great with fresh fruit. I think this would taste great with chocolate. Mm. Yeah, this is. Definitely a morning cup for me. I feel like I would drink this in the morning because it's very bright, very floral. I could enjoy that while I'm working on my computer. Definitely with some fresh fruit. That's what this coffee is, is screaming to me. Fresh fruit, early morning cup. It's, it's good stuff. All right, well, I think we covered everything. Um, I told you guys where you can find the coffee, Lagar Coffee Roasters in Paris, California. Um, I'll keep the links down in the description there for you guys. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's twenty dollars for this bag. I'm not sure. It could be. It could be twelve dollars. I'll. I'll keep the link down in the description for you guys. And uh, once again, it's, it has this um, fig flavor to it, with a very light um, grapefruit flavor. So there is a little bit of acidity. Not. It's not. It's, it's not even there. It's really just at the very back end. When you finish drinking, when you first drink it, really sweet at first, and then after it kind of washes back and you drink it. You let it sit there in your mouth for a while, you'll kind of feel that grapefruit kind of um, flavor kind of come in after a while. But it's delicious, I like it. Thanks for watching the review, guys.